Went to the store, walked down the aisle. So many products, it made me smile. With a fleeting glance, I happened to spy a display from the corner of my eye. Best spelling pen in America, it read. Could not believe that's what it said. I had to have one. Bought it right away. Hurried straight home to try it that day. So many words are so hard to spell. Makes it difficult to communicate well. Is it there or there or maybe it's there? You'll get it wrong if you don't take care. But as I wrote, the pen seemed to know the correct spelling and where it would go. It was like magic. So I wrote and wrote. I had so much fun and I began to gloat. Then before I knew it, I had run out of ink. Why'd I buy only one? What did I think? So I hustled and went back to the store. I easily needed at least a hundred more. When I found the display, I was surprised. It was all so different. Had it been revised? The best selling pen in America, it read. It didn't read spelling, but selling instead. I sat in a stupor and wondered just why my spelling had been perfect that last try. Was it the pen I bought? How did I do it? Can I spell when I put my mind to it? It is a mystery, haunts me to this day, but perhaps for us in some strange way, an accidental mistake can open a door. Maybe concentrating, we can do more. What you read is not what they wrote. What they say is not what you quote. When you're older, it's a lot more fun. Your mind can play tricks, son of a gun.